75 of uh, Durham, Gates of Harriet. And inside him was uh, Crow Wright. And so number 83 there is uh, Abdi Abdi. He's the man for full confidence. I've seen him on the country as well. He's uh, very, very useful in the country, wearing 83. Number five there is uh, Ricky Harvey, Berkshire, Lindisfarne Eaton. And the 12 starters. Really, um, the equivalent of five circuits of the track, isn't there? It's uh, five fours of two thousand. And of course, they're starting at the start of the, around well, about the start of the fifteen hundred metres, and then they've got a barrier to contend with on in this uh, race. And uh, as you can see, Andy Andy looks as though he wants to take this on, and uh, Alton right on the outside coming across, and also. Um, Wearing number 43 there, that's uh, Janine Coleman that we mentioned, is, uh, is in uh, one of those that we feature at the top of the program, is from Lancashire. He's got a best of 5.59.09, so I'm going with Abdi at 5.55.31. Just looking down the list, they're the only two really that have got uh, sub uh, six minute times uh, in this uh, race. But, um, the championship record is 538.2. That was set back in 1989 by Spencer Duval, who we've uh, obviously been following as a senior athlete for many years. Yes, big names crop up here, there, and everywhere, don't they? Spencer Duval, who's an outstanding junior, that championship record, 1989, 24 years ago. Was it that long ago? 538.2. And Colin Reed, who you remember running into a medal in the first ever World Championship back in 1983. He holds a UK record at this age group, the former Newham and Essex Beagle, 529.61. If you remember Colin Reed's take a deep breath, because the only was in Ah, well, the lead certainly being held by Jermaine Coleman. He's determined to establish the tenor of this race, the English under 20 champion at 3,000 metres deep of chase uh, this season, incidentally second in the English schools last year, so I want to make amends for that one to have the Abdi Abdi in uh, third place as they go into this one of the um, Dorset uh, athletes in uh, second place, I just want to work out which one of them it is in a moment. It's number 23, that's uh, West Henry, that's Benedict West Henry, he's the uh, leading uh, athlete from uh, Dorset. And one of the peculiarities we see about Birmingham, because it is becoming more and more of a peculiarity, is that outside water jump. There's the water jump on the outside of that bend at the far end of the stadium. If you're relatively new to track and field, you'll you'll notice that more often than not, it's on the inside of the, the top bend, but, but here it's on the outside, which uh, means that every circuit of the track is just that little bit longer. It's more than 400 metres. Yes, it is. That was the, hence the start of the... Considered to be the start of the 1500 metres. And the rhythm coming right in um, element of this race, which is uh, brought into play by the water jump we've just mentioned, and also the barriers as well. And uh, certainly there is uh, no change in the leading three at the moment. In fourth place is uh, Rowan Priest of uh, Somerset, I must mention him, he's got a best of 602. And uh, coming out to the water now. Let's have a little look at the technique of these youngsters as they come into the water. Soggy shoes after this, isn't it? Have a look at the technique. So I thought that was a pretty in-depth uh, landing that time. I tell you what, Stuart. Um, if you compare the performances here with some of the performances we see on the uh, commercial circuit on the Diamond League, the way a lot of these East African athletes take the water jump, in terms of the, the technique work, really you could throw it out. But technically, these guys are good over the water barrier. One foot on one foot off and into the water and out of the water jump. It's very efficient. You don't lose too much momentum. It's one thing when you watch a lot of these Kenyans who are clearly outstanding at this event, but they sometimes make a terrible ball into the water. Yes, they do. And at uh, the moment now we've got uh, Jermaine Coleman leading. Abdi Abdi in second place. In third place is uh, Rowan Priest. Behind Rowan Priest, uh, Benedict West Henry. Just losing his ground to uh, Ricky Harvey of Berkshire there, which is now an eight now his pole figure in the old blue. He's now in fourth place. And uh, just watch the clock. As I said, these the records here are quite astounding. And uh, 
set back as uh, Colin Reeves, who was one of our top Stephen Chairs. 529.61 in 1979. I mean, made that point. It's worth repeating. Worth repeating. And uh, all of a sudden, there, uh, Benedict West Henry finds himself off the back of that uh, leading group. And all, once again, all of a sudden, Jermaine Coleman just opening out a little bit of a gap here, um, followed by Rowan Priest. Now, Rowan Priest has got a best of 602, so the sort of pace they're running at will be well within his compass. And uh, he will look as they. You'll hear the bell this time as they go in, and uh, it really is going to be a very, very quick uh, last lap, I think. There's a lesson to be learned from the experience of Colin Reeks is that you go all the way to the finish line four years after breaking that record. Reeks won a World Championship bronze medal on the strength of a fella called Henry Marsh falling over the final barrier. So this event is not won until the athlete is over that final barrier and across the finish line. Yeah, we must mention Bertie Hartman as well at West Yorkshire. He's uh, in that, uh, what, in fourth place now at the moment. And he's just uh, opened up a gap over Ricky Harvey. But uh, certainly the subtle increase in pace by Jermaine Coleman has done the damage. And there's no way that they're going to catch this man, surely. Aki Aki's now in second place. In third place is Rowan Priest. Um, but uh, he's being overtaken now by uh, Bertie Houghton as they come into the water jump and see who comes off that the better. There's one more barrier to go for the man on route to a gold medal. Unless, of course, he comes to grief on this barrier, and that's happened. I've seen that before. No, no, he's clear. That was a safe clearance, wasn't it? He's absolutely suddenly moved away and destroyed the field. So Jermaine Coleman is coming through, and it is pretty quick, actually. 5.52, and in second place, uh, that's Bertie Houghton coming into second place, I reckon. And in third place is Abdi Abdi. Then in fourth place is uh, Priest, and behind Priest is Ricky Harvey. That's how they finish. But uh, 5.52, 5.52.30 um, is a, a personal best by a considerable margin. That's by about six seconds, according to my record here. And he set the best... Um, this season, so he's vastly improving, this young man, and we desperately need Stephen Chase expertise at the senior level. Yes, a silver medalist in the intermediate age group 12 months ago, and that was a very impressive win. Preston Harry, as they produce some outstanding athletes over the years, and this might well be another one. And he simply ran away from this field and won as he liked. Decent technique as well, 5.59, his best coming into this race, so he opens up or improves that mark by about seven seconds here so he's on the upgrade he may be some way short of the historical marks in the record books of the likes of Colin Reeds and even Spencer Duval but when he gets some competition you can see there he can afford himself a smile and he can even dig in there and thump his knees and I think we can safely assume that there was a fair amount under the bonnet left there if he needed it but it's a great win there from the man from Lancashire. Well, let's hear from uh, this young man, Jermaine Coleman.